Hi Aries, welcome to your New Year's message and I hope you are fantastic. Thank you Aries for being here. So this tarot card message is going up to all Aries or if you have Aries in your chart. This is a general reading. Angels, spirits, guides, pushas, Aries. Upcoming energies for Aries. What do you need to see or acknowledge? Aries. First house with Jupiter direct. Mars and Gemini. Venus and Capricorn and the moon. Or no, I'm sorry. Venus and Mercury and Capricorn Mercury is retrograde. So let's see what we have here for you, Aries. Okay, I'm just going to cut it. There's some of you who are worrying you worry too much what's behind it could be thinking about what other people think of you or social people people you know um, nine of Pentacles doing very well on your own standing on your own two feet the world is your challenge. You've accomplished a lot. So you've accomplished so much that you're now standing on your own two feet. Wow. Generosity. There could be something here about receiving a benefit. Charity. Um, the root of the issue is giving, giving something of value to someone. Seven of Cups. Mixed feelings about a situation. Oh, wow. You're going to feel, you know, very satisfied. This is the energy of I'm almost at my bliss. This is my wish coming true. This is your future energy right here. This is karma. So really good karma. Six of coin is, you know, doing something to help other people, charitable, Oh my God, look at this. Ten of Cups is you. Very, very happy, very blissful. So for those of you that follow any kind of Chinese astrology, coming up we have the Year of the Water Rabbit. We just came out of the Year of the Water Tiger, and now we're going into the Water Rabbit. It's supposed to be lucky. Someone around you feels tired. They could even feel like they're coming to the end of a cycle that was quite stressful. And you feel very happy. You want everything to be the way you want it. You're working on something, manifesting. You have some kind of friend here. You feel kind of bad. Okay, so there's something here where you feel like you want to repair or fix something, possibly to do with friends, family, or siblings. There is something here about friendship. You feel like possibly you are not as close to somebody. Three of Cups is like I've lost connection with someone. And then the feelings that you have. So this kind of looks like possibly you're trying to... Oh yeah, stability, four of wands. <clears throat> somebody here had um, a spiteful attitude of some kind. Jealous, um, there's something about you, they feel a certain way. It looks like here you were nice to someone. You reached out with your emotions, feelings, someone you were very nice to. This is karma. So it's like the wheel spins round and round. The wheel turns round and round. And what you don't see is that somebody here is concerned, or maybe you are concerned. Um, somebody may have yelled at someone and said some words that were like the truth here. 
the death and the judgment. Something is a decision to make a change. So let's see. So for you, Aries, coming up in the new year, I see you as very happy. I mean, I see you as wanting to spread your emotions and your feelings to others, wanting to repair or fix relationships um, because you want to be the magician, which means you want to fix. You've got ideas. You want to put things together. Um, you may not know exactly how you're going to do it with the Seven of Cups. So the card of Seven of Cups is supposed to be the way you feel when the planet Venus is transiting through Scorpio. It's the energy of a rebirth and pleasure. So having choices and options, but having a rebirth, um, a renewal, Venus in the house of uh, birth and death and everything in between life cycles. So you're going to be very satisfied, very happy. A person around you may you feel a little jealous but or they may feel a little spiteful resenting something I'm not quite sure it doesn't really matter i mean that person is at the end of this the ten of swords and the five of swords um i mean it's over it's over so what are we getting here for aries okay so the card that just flipped out is the victory you are going to have a year of victory here, Aries. Quite honestly, like, you are going to do so well. Um, this is the first card to come flying out of my deck. All right. What? Is it going to come back in? The root of the issue is this, like, this cycle of justice of funds. So there could be something where you're paying for something, you are giving something of value to someone, but the main energy was standing on your own two feet, having a lavish lifestyle, having a lot of money in the bank. Um, you look like you're pretty much wanting to spread the love with the Ten of Cups. You feel so happy, and then also you have a Four of Wands here, which means you have stability and friends and you may have someone here to share this with sharing the love this year aries okay so i just got the two of cups flying out you're going to be in a relationship with someone who's an ally a friend a person you trust it is a person who is by your side what is seven of cups here <clears throat> what is seven of cups Wow, it looks like you pushed really hard. You didn't give up on something. Um, you didn't quit. Okay. Who is the person with the five of swords around Aries? Who is the person? Um. I got that two of wands, which means somebody feels like they're at a crossroads in some way. It's not too clear. Somebody may be jealous of what, of all the good things you're having, and it makes them start to think about their life. Oh my god, this two of wands really wants to be there. It's a person who comes to a crossroads. Like, should I make, what should I do? Should I go right? Should I go left? What should I do? They're actually inspired by you whoever this is, because fire is about inspiration and survival. Um, and you're really in this water energy of emotions. You're following your heart, but you're also getting to a place here of stability. Um, you're meeting a goal or reaching a goal. So... The future energy is a nine of cups. You come to a place of great satisfaction. Um, very happy. You might feel like I'm comfortable. I feel safe. I feel happy. Everything feels very pleasant. And then at the same time, you would like to share this with other people. Like, you know, your heart's wide open. Um, so Aries, I'll leave this here for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful new year and take care.